There is always a room for artificial intelligence between the stimulus and response to make a conversation agent very smarter. It's up to the real intelligence to decide how much delegation makes the artificial conversation agent a real competitor to its counterpart. Here, we are introducing RPA Bot Assistant that harnesses the combined power of artificial intelligence, AI, and robotic process automation, RPA, to the conversation agent. This chocolate has been developed for hospital services to help the user to schedule a doctor appointment. This chat agent will consistently maintain the context while responding to other related user queries. And there is much more. On the server side, RPA capability of the bot will access other applications, Outlook, and data files to process the user request in real time. OCR service will power the bot assistant to read the attached scan copy of reports and perform necessary data entry operations before forwarding to the required doctor's mailbox. Bot is enforcing user authentication to adhere privacy data protection compliance for accessing customer data by means of OTP authentication. Let's move on the appointment scheduling use case. This is a dummy hospital website template hosted in the local server on which we have integrated the RPA bot assistant. Bot is consuming the services developed in Python and hosted on the same local server exposed as REST web services via another port. AI-based natural language processing NLP, techniques have been used in this RPA bot assistant development. And hence you can communicate to the bot in the same way as chatting with a human. Obviously, it has got just trained artificial intelligence with a lot of limitations in applying logical intelligence. More training will make the conversation agent's behavior further realistic and matured. The initial greetings have been limited to two for intending the user to proceed with next actions. The requests like, I want to book an appointment, want to meet an orthopedics, schedule appointment, etc. all will guide you to appointment initiation. The bot will then ask about your relationship with the patient. It's expecting the user response like for my wife, for me, for my son, daughter etc. If the gender is clear from your response, it will automatically take that input and skip one step. Enter the patient name. It will also extract the name from sentences like, I'm Brian Piper, my name is Brian Piper, or any valid sentence contains patient's name. Enter age. There is a validation for maximum two digits here. Enter gender, if it has not been identified from your relationship response. Enter your mobile number. Enter the health problem. If it is specific to identify specialty required, bot will advise to choose a doctor from that specialty. For example, I have a knee pain, fungal infection, to check hearing problem, thyroid problem, etc. Bot will ask for the confirmation to choose a specialty from which you would select a doctor appointment. All the available doctors in this specialty will be displayed to select one from. RPA bot assistant is very flexible to accept variety of date formats. Even you can say, tomorrow, day names like, Wednesday, Saturday, October 23rd, 23 Oct, 10 23rds etc. The date will even be extracted from the user entered sentence too. Bot will ask for your confirmation on the date you entered. You will get an option to select a time slot for your appointment. Finally, the consolidated data entered by the user will be displayed to confirm or make any final changes in the information provided. You can say, want to update the mobile number, need to change the name, or any meaningful request for you to get an option to modify the field value. Once you confirm with any of your positive expression like looks good, okay, yes, cool etc., the RPA service within the bot will go ahead and book appointment in an external application maintained internally by the hospital. Here we are using a public site to demo the process. The information collected from the user is entered into the corresponding fields in the application by the RPA bot to book an appointment. For the demo purpose bot is just entering the values without actually submitting the request. 
Since the doctor names in our database doesn't match with the names available in this drop-down, you may observe a mismatch in the doctor name selected. The target application can be anything from applications to data files. Bot will confirm back after the successful request submission. Now we'll quickly show you how to modify an information entered by the user. RPA Bot Assistant has been designed to behave as a responsive user interface to adjust smoothly in various screen sizes. Now let's see how the RPA bot helps in forwarding a medical report sent by a user to a designated doctor in the hospital. Hospital will be publishing the generic email ID for any kind of mail communications. While chatting with the RPA bot or after sending the email you can inform that you have sent an email. RPA bot will ask for the sender email ID to search for the email in the Outlook. If it has received your email, bot will ask about your intention to forward your report to a doctor. If you want to make sure that bot has received the correct email you can ask to show the email content for verification. It requires your mobile number for OTP authentication before showing the email content. If your mobile number is available somewhere in the email body, RPA bot will pick that and you just need to confirm that. Once you share your mobile number, RPA bot will trigger the OTP authentication process and you will receive the number. After authentication, you will be able to preview the details you have sent. Subject, body and attachment content will be read by the bot. Here I have attached a sample medical report scanned image in this email sent to the RPA bot. If there is any data entry or other processes like save the attachment to a particular folder with patient details needed to perform with the information received, bot can be trained to do so. To search for the doctor name, bot will accept first name, last name, or part of a name. All the matching names will be displayed for you to choose one from. Select a doctor name from the list displayed. Your email is forwarded to the selected doctor mailbox. Since I have configured the email ads to my mailbox, you can see the email received pop up here. We can train the RPA bot using any data that a is customer expected to ask in the healthcare context. For this demo, to know more about the hospital specialty services we have trained the bot with the informations relevant to the hospital. Asking a question like, what all specialty services do you provide, will list all the specialty services available in the hospital.
To get more details about a particular service and what does it mean you can ask further questions like, what you mean by preventive health check. RPA bot assistant is not limited to these processes or healthcare domain, I have taken a few use cases to demonstrate the combined power of AI and RPA that can change the way we are working today. People prefer personalized product and services tailored for them considering individual taste and needs. While AI and automation hold tremendous value in terms of time and cost savings internally, customer experience is another area in which AI promises even bigger and more meaningful returns. Thank you for watching this video.